Modding is hell. You wake up one day and you decide that you want to boot up the computer. And then you go to YouTube and you search RDR2 mods. And look what comes up. A fantastic video about the glories of mods. How you can add back Mexico. How you can do Undead Nightmare. You eat babies. Cool new guns, even cars. So you want to do that to your game automatically, of course. And so you look up a tutorial and it probably brought you to this video. So today, with all my pains of modding and with all my falters and everything, I will give you a good basic modding tutorial for ASI files, Eleni's mod loader files, and just the basics on how to mod the game. So sit back and enjoy. So what you need is a legal copy of Red Dead Redemption 2. I will not offer any support for pirated copies because one, I simply just don't use a pirated copy, I never have pirated Red Dead 2, and two, I'm not really sure if it's legal for me to cover it. So first things first, go to Nexus Mods, luckily I have it open here, and then view all games. Right now you can scroll down and you'll see Red Dead Redemption 2 here. So what you want to do, before you see like all these cool mods, before that, go to search. Anyway. Let's do this. So look up first script hook, script hook v2. So here we are. Now, go to files and do not get the mod loader. We are going to get a different mod loader because this one is already pretty outdated. Instead, download script hook rdr2 v2, manual download. Then, once you've downloaded this folder to zip file, go to posts and here will be this really handy message. So V2 has an issue with spawn pools where like trains don't um, spawn normally, wagons won't spawn normally. So here's a cool tip. So press on this here. This is the ultimate ASI loader. This is basically just, this works for every single game. So go to releases, don't look at all this stuff. You don't need it. Go to releases and just scroll down to X64. And once that's done, now let's go back to Nexus. So you have completed the first step of modding, but there's some more you need to complete beforehand. Make a new tab or just use this tab, whatever, and go to Lenny's Mod Loader. Oh, sorry, Lenny's Mod Loader. So just do that and go to Red Dead 2 Mods here and just download this file. And here, just get the main file. I know it's outdated by almost two years now, but just download the zip file archive. It still works. I can tell you because, you know, every button still uses it. Now, what you need to do, go to downloads. Let me just change my screen really quickly. So here we are, we are in our file explorer. And so what you wanna do, just unzip these files. So let's go ahead and unzip first. Let's unzip script hook. As you can see, it shows two, one, one, because I already have these files. I actually have them on backup. So I use 7-Zip personally, I really vouch for 7-Zip here, it's a great service, but if you use WinRAR it's the same thing, so extract files and just do that. So now just open the folder. Now do not copy this folder, just open this folder too, and you'll see script hook RDR2. Ignore the SDK, you do not need this, this is just the source code if you want to modify it, if you're a modder, and I'm pretty sure most of you watching this are not modders. So just copy this file, just press copy, and then go to your Red Dead Redemption 2 folder and paste it. Just paste it right in directory, no extra folders. Next, go and unzip the ultimate ASI loader. So just 7-zip, extract files, and done. Also a reminder, you can also use just Windows normally. Yeah, you can just extract all items in this folder. You can do that, but I just like 7-zip. Ultimate ASI loader, and this is just the DLL file. This will load all your ASI files to the game. So just copy that. And again, paste it, hold on, paste it right into the Red Dead Redemption 2 folder. Now that's kind of like the newish parts out of the way, so you don't end up downloading an older version of the ASI file. And now for the final step, uh, Lenny's mod loader. So 7-zip, do the same thing. And now it will open this up. Now, this may look a little daunting to you, but ignore all of this. Just ignore this, all the example stuff. What you only need is the mod loader and mod manager. So first open the mod loader and literally just take everything here, all this stuff, except this file, because it's just kind of there to tell you what to do. So just take all this stuff, copy and place it right in game folder. Oh, sorry. 
right in game folder. No, nothing else needed. Then go back and just copy the entire mod manager folder. See, don't, don't, don't just bring it like this. Just copy the entire folder into your game. Just, uh, sorry, it, it's always confusing me. Just copy it right into your game. As you can see, I have mod manager here. So now you have basically the basics of modding. Yeah, you can download mods now, but before that, a lot of people have an issue because script hook, when you install it, it needs to generate this configuration file and a text document as well, which just shows that like it works and stuff. So you need to generate this configuration and I had such a hard time doing this. So let's download one more thing. So we are back on Opera, go to Nexus Mods and we are just going to use a trainer now. So go to Red Dead Redemption 2 and Technically, any ASI mod will work for this, but uh, just go over here and look up Rampage Trainer. Yeah, this is a very useful mod. It will help you a lot. So just install Rampage, right? Manual, download. Yeah, just, just download it. So welcome back to this little folder I have. So now you have Rampage here. So do the same thing and ins uh, extract it with 7-zip. And now you just open this folder up and all you need to do, just take the Rampage Files folder and the Rampage ASI file, copy them and put them both into your game root folder. The reason why you're downloading Rampage is that script hook needs an ASI file, as I said beforehand, to create an INI, the configuration file, which means it will be working. So then you just have to boot up the game once all these are installed and Rampage, if Rampage does give you a message that says like, oh, welcome to Rampage, here's some of the controls and this is like a license, right? Whatever that you accept. So if that comes up, you are ready to mod. But one last thing we need to oh, one last thing we need to cover Lenny's mod loader. Lenny's mod loader is a godsend. So, how to install stuff for Lenny's mod loader? Well, let me show you that. Let's say there's a cool mod that you like. Let's say these beta redwood textures you see here. You know, they look pretty nice. I don't know why they were cut, but you know, Rockstar being Rockstar. So, now you just go to files and you manually download them. Don't use uh, Vortex, Vortex sucks. This is a lot better to do. And now we are in our file explorer. So now just, as I said, unzip it, extract files. So now go into this beta redwood texture. And what all you have to do, well, you could literally just copy this folder and paste it in LML. It's literally that easy. You just take the copy the folder and you place it in LML. But technically, it asks you to do in the stream folders. Stream is basically just models that you need to have, right? Uh, that you need to load in, sorry. So uh, just throw the files into stream. So for example, I would just go to beta redwood textures, click on this, take these YTD files, copy them, and just paste them in the stream folder. And it will just replace and load them up. So yeah, that's basically the gist of it. If it has LML, you just take the folder and you paste it in Lenny's Mod Loader folder. But once you do that, if you have any mod that you want to install in Lenny's Mod Loader, go to Mod Manager and open up the UI application. It's a little neat application where you can check all the mods that you have. So for example, I have the Law Dispatch, Complete Horse Overhaul, all these mods, and it will show you that they are enabled and working. So you'll actually have to start with theme first and then check your game folder, which is pretty easy. You just click on wherever your game folder is located. And yeah, that's it. You are now ready to mod Red Dead 2. If you have any questions, post comments. I am always, always free to answer your comments. I, you know, I have nothing really better to do. So hey, might as well. And I hope you found it very helpful. So I will see you.